a little closer to the microphone. What it is, is it's an event where people drive all the way from the Canadian border to the Mexican border in classic Volkswagens. And I think there's even some newer cars that do it, newer Volkswagens that do it too, um, kind of join in. I don't really know exactly how it works out, but it's never really been filmed before. I guess Volkswagen did a little shindig on it once. Like, this guy's just moving. And uh, I'm not going that slow, really. But, you know, Volkswagen did anything on it, and they were, and I had a little, there's like a real short video on YouTube, so I thought, it'd be great to film this and see, hopefully there's a lot of people in it. A little bit of a gamble, but I thought it'd also be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, it's a, for me, going from Riverside up to San Francisco in a VW bus, it's, it's a pretty good sized risk, you know, but uh, it's going to be really cool. On the way back, we'll be taking Highway 1. On the way up, I'm taking the 101. And uh, this is how I assess this. I'll let you guys, uh, you guys in on it. I looked at the 5, which I usually take going up north. And it was like 102 today. Yeah. Uh, the, you can see the weather here is really cool. And... Uh, the high up at like King City, which is about halfway up, is like uh, 96 today. So when it's under 100, it's not as bad to do. Uh, it, it still is going to be a little bit of pain going through the valley with no AC and just a wing wing at 96 degrees. But uh, this part of it is just well worth it, guys. Look at that. Santa Barbara right now, just past Ventura. So, um, I, there's a, you can look it up online if you want. It's under, if you look up Airhead Parts, Vintage or Trepin, you'll find it. Uh, there's, a, there's a Facebook on it and stuff. Kind of check out what it's all about. And uh, join me in. We'll go cruising. 13 window. I'm going to get some uh, driving shots here coming up. It's going to be uh, whatever we find along the way. It's going to be kind of fun. So I hope you guys stick around. And I didn't talk too much to get you guys all uh, turned off. So anyway, we'll talk a little bit later in the video. All right, guys. First, first fuel stop, Santa Barbara. Or actually, almost Goleta. I think I'm still in Santa Barbara, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see how many gallons we get. Let's take a look in a second. Yeah, we were working pretty low there. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I needed that much. I know this thing says 10 gallons, but I've put 11 in it before. Yeah, that was really cutting it close there. I don't uh, think I want to do that again. But it could have been you know, I mean, it does hold up to 11 gallons, so we don't have any. Let's check the oil in the back here. No oil spots. I don't know if you guys see anything. I don't see anything. Let's check the oil situation. Where are we at? Dipstick is cool. Of course, it's really cool out right here. Right about where we started wipe it off and check it again but probably yeah we're good yeah it's about it's a little below that because if you look on the back side of the stick it's a little lower yeah we should be fine we're not making oil it's our main thing there's no oil residue back here so we're not blowing any oil out no leakies just in time for lunch. Let's go see what's in town. Talk to you guys a little bit later. That's where I ended up going. It's pretty good food. Not bad. And Golita. So let's get back in the bus.
quite a bit, but not, not I don't live here, so. guys so far it is not time to leave yet this is actually half hour before we're supposed to arrive so we've got all these cars here and in with the group is a oval window is that original paint or no it's original color really cool so yeah, that'll be neat and we've got a crusty old bus over here. Cool. So yeah, this is so far. Bring you guys back in in a minute. I'm driving the 13 window today. <laughs> Still rolling in like crazy. Not even near the amount of people that are supposed to be here. Now check out this teardrop. <laughs> that's a real, that's a real drop, isn't it? It can go cool. All right, more arrivers. 
I'm gonna get a double door early. Nice. Cool from Washington. We've got a 67. And we've got a shorty bus. Okay. That'd be interesting. And we've got uh, Carmen Gia. Sorry, right, I'm just filming this here. And we've got Airhead Parts. And I guess he goes on this still. And, uh, we got this guy. Another press bumper. I don't know where he's from. A double door press bumper. Actually, he was there last night. I don't know if I filmed anything there. I don't think I did. Late model. And then this guy. You get this interesting guy here. Yeah, look at that. He's got Idaho license plate for the side. And it's from Idaho. How about that? That's a Colorado guy. I don't recognize faces too well, so if I get you wrong, let's get up here and look and see the license plate number. Is it a Colorado plate? Yes, it is. That's him. Beautiful car. Wow. That's dedication. And I got the student driver tag on the back of mine. They pass that thing around, I guess. So if you're new, you might get the student driver. All right, we picked up a few more here at this location. We're at the bridge. This is Fort Prague. Let's look around. Check out what's happening here. A lot of talking going on. And uh, people hanging out. A lot more cars now. Got some over there. And we got. Yeah. Savannah oh, Beach. You have to be overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tom Summers. Which side are you on? Top to bottom he went. I think he wanted to spend his time here, which was wise. Let's we'll see what's happening with all those different cars. Couple Carmens. Really cool. Rolling out. I guess we're going to Half Moon Bay. Hey. So the next one's Half Moon Bay, right? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Cool. There, all right. We'll see you there. All right. Thanks, sir. One of the subscribers on the channel. He drove out. Where did he come from? I forget where he came from. I thought it was. Uh, uh, oh, he's from Reading, Reading area. So. Anyway, we better get in the bus and roll out. Look at that.
That's exciting for them, man. All right, guys, let's go to Half Moon Bay. Roll out in the 13 window. This ought to be interesting. All right, we're going across Holden Gate. Not the Bay Bridge. That's another bridge. That's... Actually, we can see it today a little bit. There's the towers. Gathering point. 
weird. It's kind of a lot of things happen. It's kind of different. So it's a lot of fun. Cruising in Volkswagens. Love it. That's cool, thanks. <laughs> you can get right here. Yeah. Well, it looks like we picked up a couple buggies. When those guys joined it was recently and they wasn't here this morning and I don't remember this bus might have been there but looks like it's well used here's our Colorado guy what a setup man look at that that was a little issues of course the Volkswagen bound to happen All right so we have no music let's uh I, you know, I don't know what year this is. I don't really look at it that close. It's, eh, must be a 62. No, oh, 60. 64. Maybe five. I thought it was an early one, but it's really cool. I gotta tell them how to fix that. It's not really that hard to fix. And we got uh, Mellow Yellow. Yeah, he's got flowers on the doors. Huh. Real hippie ride there. Uh oh. More people coming. And it is full. This is pretty amazing. Lots of subscribers here from around the area. One guy from Salinas, another guy from where was it? That's really cool. Meet up with the guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we got some bay windows. It looks like I've seen this one here. I showed you guys this one. What is this? It must be a 54 or early 55. It's got heart taillights, so it's it's probably a 54. It's got a lot of stuff on the dash. Look. Oh, but it can always be fixed. You ever wanted to bring it back original? As dash as you can buy them. But it is a. Is that a three fold? Yeah. Ah, early rag. Hmm. Those are desirable right there. The yellow Lexney. Yeah, exit if you. Hurry, that hurry, Eve, me one. Here we go, I got to exit. That's nice. Yeah, Eve. So I knew. Our floor is a set. I wish no more. Wow. I'm going to out with actually. Go Hey, you can get back to Oh, see no. We just left him for dust. We just left these guys in the dust. We didn't wait for them. And we got places to park. But it's, uh... It's interesting. So here come the latecomers. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And this is this is Tom Summers' bus. He's Tom's not driving. Tom. Everybody calls him the grandfather of this thing. He goes with so many of them. And here we are in the 13 window. So I drove out. It made it.
Sir, oh, got a Lealer? I really hope he's going to have a shoosh. Does this have this? So we got a... There's a lot of Carmageas in the drive out here. That's pretty cool. Well, that's a really nice one. Yeah. Is that 68, 9? 67, one of those. And look at this car. I think he's got a little of everything on here. Those cool slotted wheels. Those, those, those things are becoming popular now. I never liked them in the early days, but they're so rare now that a lot of guys like them. What does he got? Airplane turn signals on there? I don't know what the heck that is. Blinkers. So we've got, uh, hmm. Yeah, we've already seen that one. Hopefully, uh, look at this. What the heck? Those are fake white walls on smoothies. And then he's got his cross hatch there. Stinger. He's having fun with that. I guess these ones I've not filmed before because I'm in a different area. I don't know where they came from, but they're here. We got the screen. He was telling me this is a. Look at that. So he's got that dash. And he crafted it in the back window. He wanted a Noble. So oh, you do what you want. It's your car, right? This one was up ahead of me in the drive out. I think. I think he passed us. What happened is a lot of guys snuck ahead and then got ahead of the guy who's who heads us up there, head parts guy. So they were, they were worried about having room to get in the show, I think. And who knows, it became a joke. Because now I don't think there's enough place for anybody to park. It's really jammed in tight, so. little camper here. It's original. It's cool. And they're camping in it. Let's take a look over here, guys. And over here, I'll bring you back in. What a nice looking bay window right here. What is that? Uh, 68, 9, 70. I don't know the differences, guys. I'm not the bay window expert. Man, that is clean, though. Sport bug. <laughs> Camper man. It's camp mobiles here. Is that a tin top Westie? No, nah, maybe not. And then we've seen the Idaho bus. Came from Idaho. To do this show. Look inside. 
cool original that's what we like wow this one was just well kept and they just cleaned it up and look at that it's original upholstery probably been repainted I'm sure but man that looks really clean look at that really nice Sixty-eight, nine seventy. What is it? Not sure. Got that still on there. Really cool. But I don't think it had those. We had the single pipe muffler. Some. Genuine camper vans here. Once you got in here, Subaru. Yep. I don't know if I'd do the Subaru. I think if I was going to do it, I would do the 1.9D with an AAZ, the AAZ 1.9D, and put a turbo on it. I think it would definitely do better on gas mileage and pull the weight really nice that's what I would do and then you would have to reverse rotation the transmission and all that I think it'd be a much easier add just the injection system everything's diesel it just kind of bolt right in you get that grunt power get 30 miles a gallon that'd be the way I'd do it that's a really nice looking black gear here uh, I really don't know how to tell the years very well on these cars. They all look old. They look the same, except for the bullets in the front. Bullets in the front. It's got to be 67, 8, 9. I think the earlier ones were painted bullets, but I don't know. What are we looking at the engine here? Hmm. I get 48s. Yeah. That's a nice street engine. He's got the exhaust system there, just a little bit upgraded. This don't really flow the well best, but that's a really nice looking notch here, guys. Let's take a look inside. Yeah. Went up to all black on black, right? So what year is this notch? Oh, this is a late notch. Oh yeah, this is like a 70, 70, 71. Look at that with the big lights. Still really cool. I saw a guy, a friend of mine had one of these for sale. And I didn't really want it. But it is a really neat car, especially when you see it like this. You just go, man, I, you know, I could have had nuts just like that. That yeah, looks really nice. I like the earlier ones with the smaller tail lights and the sm smaller bumpers, and the front's a little less rigid looking. But that looks really good with the turquoise on it. Really like that. Striped, but so nice out here in the beach weather, guys. It's just so cool, beautiful. So, we got a Euro car 58 Euro. There's a 12 volt system on it, selling it. Original paint with a Sign. <laughs> I think it's a Euro Deluxe. Interesting because it has these ragtop. I have a 
This looks like an original color. I drive whatever you want. 36 horse motor. What is that? 60? Is it 60? Oh, 58, sorry. Flat steering wheel. Let's look at that. You know, did you know Charlie? No. Flat uh, yeah. steering so wheel. I moved here nine years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. so he had, a, he, had a, he had a shop in here since the time began. Maybe different seat covers, but man, that's but really cool. Was, uh, He's oh, and it has the live steam locking steering oh, okay. column. So he, he used to run that. Uh, that's right. They had a Casa de Fruta back in the day. And uh, he, had, he had one engine was like a diesel that it had a VW power. What is this beauty here, guys? Looks pretty nice. 65. All right, 65. I think so. Big windows. Big windows and round hubcaps usually is a giveaway. 64 was the last year of the smaller windows, so 65 that would probably be. I had a couple of these, I loved them. They were nice cars. I was planning on actually keeping one, and then I found something older and cooler, and just was really fortunate to get. How about. There's nothing like a 21 window. Let's look here. So it has a whole seat and it has a small seat and then still has that. Those are hard to find. Basically, deluxe version with the uh, rag top. You could buy it with it with or without the rag top. So the 13 win 13 window is like the same, but yeah. So I don't think I've seen this logo truck before. Let's look at that. Yeah, I wonder who did that. Yeah, it looks like hmm. Did it the way I would have done it. Which is they may have used stenciling and then just brushed it in to make it look like a real brush letter either way if it is or not good job could have been just they used a they did the out by hand that's pretty good could be yeah that's hand brush right there I could see the brush where they went over yeah, that's all hand brush the other didn't quite look like it, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. So, anyway, oh, yeah, so it is hand brush. They used a really good straight letter. Use some clear mixed in with the paint to get it to look like that. It's a pretty good job. Yeah, I think he wants to get the message out there. So we've got this one yet. I don't think we did. I had to cut off. I heard some music. Oh, that's pretty nice, sir. Huh? Really clean camper.
Well, that's interesting. Uh, Brazilian? What the heck is that? Let's look in the front. They must have just had that done. I didn't know they ever made one like that with a. I guess maybe it's original. This one here, yeah, nice looking camper. Swivel seat. Oh, wow. A lot of room in there. They started getting smarter and smarter making these things. Westy group here. They had parts. Another Westy. We got this bay window. There we go. The Ratmobile. Here we got a camper with a camper. Well, that's a really cool looking tent trailer. What is that one? Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I don't know if I've ever seen this particular one. I know some of you guys like that stuff. Alright. Let's go get a rag top. Came out here. Was that 63 ish? I don't know what year it is. Love this car right here. This thing's gorgeous. Man, look at that original. That's really cool. Let's get this uh, black wide rim. It's got wide ones. That wide look. It's the Herbie. I love bug style. Extra wide wheels. And just noticed that. So what is this thing? 61, 62, 60. Hmm. Could well, it could be 62 euro because 62 euro would have had those snowflakes and uh, yep, 62, they still made them. Check it out on the Samba. Snowflakes and semaphores, 62. That's nice looking. Splitty here. He's ahead of me somewhere, I think. Then we have this one. Nice little splitty. Must have had a nail in the tire on the other one. A couple guys helping out, changing the tire over there. One. <laughs> Let's get KG here. Yeah, we got this here. And then we got that one. Nice clean pearl vise, I would say. KG in the 
What is that, 77? 78? That's cool. Most of those died because of the smog rules. Most of them are gone. So that's kind of neat to see one still around. I guess that's it for this. I guess what we'll do is just make this a separate video and then I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let's we'll see if we can get it. Some sort of a thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll be lucky enough. Well, I need something good. What do you guys think? Oh, maybe bugs in a row? Bugs in a row with the splitty in the background. I'm not sure. Let's try something like that. Avert. So I noticed this. When I got up here, first night I was here, so I left the e-bike in the truck or in the van. And somebody else must have wanted it. And they were very unfortunate because they were not able to get my pop-out open, which that wouldn't have done anything anyway. But it looks like they bent the frame. They bent the frame. They jacked up the paint. Good old California tweakers. Yeah, that's not going to discourage me. I'm still going to do what I want to do. And it worked. So all I got to do is touch up paint and straighten out a pop out frame. But luckily they didn't break the glass. Or did they? Is that a crack? It might be. Hmm, original glass too. That's a bummer. I think they did break one of the laminates. Didn't notice that last night. Nice of them. Thank you, Mr. Tweaker in Novato, California. Right near San Francisco, by the way. And I forgot to mention my bus was actually, and that night it was about as wide as that planter is from the front door. So, they're pretty stupid and bold. That'd be a bummer if I ran out of memory. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot to film here. So we're at the uh, Carmel stop here this is the morning you're heading down towards airhead parts in ventura but we're going to stop again in uh where is that uh san luis obispo so there's all these cars here we've filled up two or three parking lots uh, bugs buses carmen guias verts you name it and uh, we're setting up to leave so i'm gonna ask a couple questions find out some stuff is we're heading down highway one so hopefully we got clear this looks like there's gonna be some fog along the way hopefully i get some good video footage for you guys and we'll see how it goes later talk to you guys later all right so we're hitting it up heading out a lot of buses this time a lot more than last time. I mean, some guys came in just for this part, so this is going to be fun. Stick around, guys. We will film it. You guys watch it. I don't know if you guys can see behind me. There's a row of buses. Uh, there's a bit of fog out, and it's visibility is the greatest, so we might not have the greatest footage, and the bridges are all being refurbished right now. Those beautiful bridges that you see with the arches, uh, they've got construction all over them. So I'm hoping I can catch the next one, maybe it'll be in good shape, but uh, we'll keep you informed as we drive and make it early. We'll talk a little bit later. Well, that bridge didn't have any construction on it. And we're on the cliffs here. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get my camera on for it. One of the most beautiful iconic drives in 
been a while since I've driven this, so they had it closed for a little while. They had an avalanche and uh, took out a bunch of the road. I haven't seen the patches yet from that, so I think we got a little ways. It's not too far up here, though. Kind of dislocated Big Sur from the rest of uh, the rest of the North Bay stuff. Northern California stuff. Anyway, we'll be talking a little Alright, so this is where we ended up. I want to show you guys how cool this pristine beach is. Uh, if you guys can at all do it, this treffin is just really cool. At least do a couple of legs in it because uh, it's just fun. Look at all the people. Everybody just hanging out. It's beautiful weather. Nice and cool breeze. The sun's a little warm right now here, but you know, it's, this guy just joined in, I think, somewhere. I didn't see where he came from. I don't remember this orange one. This guy's been here for a while. But uh, we're at this beach in the Hearst, near Hearst Castle, it's up on the hill behind me. And we are actually right at this little pier. It's Hearst Castle Beach. So this is part of the stops. It's kind of, you know, you have to really, I wish they had like a mapping system or something like that. Maybe we can get them to do that. It'd be really neat. Um, like I said, guys came from Colorado, Idaho uh, to do this drive because it's just so, it's so epic. Once you guys do it once, a lot of times they just are addicted and they just keep coming. So this is, this is where we're at now. Beautiful pier you can walk out on. Nice, cool breeze. Uh, down the south is the Morrow Bay which is really beautiful to drive through. I mean, this stuff is just all the way. I mean, I, there's part of it I couldn't make, but maybe I'll have to do that again another year. Ah, this is a different old one. We had this guy earlier. Check that out. That's original, man. That is cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's just a, well, it's a cool oval right there, guys. No music. I love it. I think he did this once. So, he's a Treffin, he has a Treffin sticker. I don't have one of those. I don't know. I'll have to get one. So anyway, there's Tom's bus again. Tom Summers is one of the loyal Treffin guys. He's the one who talked me into the coming to this. Uh, thanks, Tom, for talking me into it because it's definitely worth it. This is his bus, but he's driving the electric bus. We'll go take a look at that for a minute. While we're walking, take a look over here on this side. See who's, see who's with us now. Maybe some different people. This guy's been with us for a while. He's an Idaho yeah, guy. Idaho. And then another Idaho. Look at that. I don't know if I saw that one earlier. He's probably been here and I haven't seen it. So many cars. I don't know how many. It's quite a few. Yeah, we got kind of the Montana Sprinter rental. He's not part of the group, but 
This is a public campground or public stop, so guys come here for whatever kite surfing and all that too. So. All right, let's go take a look up here. See what's happening with this electric bus. That's the battery there. Or the short word is. It's got these cool logos on. Really cool. Check it out. Double door. It's Tom's engineering expertise at work here. It's kind of got a little bit older battery system in it, so he's going to update that so probably someday. But it's kind of expensive to do that. So. Anyway, he's talking to some people, so otherwise we maybe give him a little holler here. In a minute. We'll see. So here we are at Grover Beach, and we picked up a few more and probably lost a couple. It's just uh, in, every time you stop, you can get a new one. Is he here? Maybe. I think so. so this is a new one it's over here. Nice little splitty. Here. Got a little rack stuff. Nice looking bus. Here. It's a new one. And what was the other one? I think we picked this one up now. And a Baja bug. Maybe he's just out here for the local guy or something. Maybe who knows? So a lot of those guys that come around just for that are local. And then there's guys build your own, <laughs> not for sale. Love it. Let's look at that. Not for sale. Build your own. If you didn't catch it and we got uh sea blue i don't remember this 21 window there's a camper kit in it uh, i don't remember this karmic gear with flames on it so oh this one was in oregon maybe he did he wasn't it i didn't see him there's so many cars or he sometimes people drop off and then they because they break down or whatever and they come back so kind of kind of fun as far as that goes this guy's been here a while um, this one's been like all the way I think but uh, everybody's got their own story I don't know they're gonna have a little talk or something I'll bring you back in in a minute
Alright, here we go guys. Let's take a look around. We are oh whoa. We are at this Girl Scout campground. It looks good. And uh this is kind of where the show is. I mean it's not really a show, it's just a, a couple of nights. They spent two nights here this time. They don't always do it this way, but Pretty music playing at least, thanks goodness. I'll show you guys some stuff here. Got some Westies, late model Westies, bay windows. Over here. Hopefully it's not too bumpy for you guys. Got some campers out there. Let's get a little closer. Well, it doesn't really look very good. All right, we got uh, splitties over here. There's our head parts over there. We got our dry campers. Nice little vert there. It's like a 77 beetle. Really cool. Let's see him very often. Yeah, Colorado guy. We're here again. And we got some Westy action. Down there. What? A hover? I don't know about that. Then we got over here. Is that a puck? A yeah, little puckage going on. All right, here we are at Signal Hill. Some people are rolling in. Again, I dropped off and went over and filmed a show. Now I'm coming back into the group and we're going all the way to Imperial. What is it? Imperial Beach. So that's where it ends up. This guy's rolling in. Oh, I don't know how it happened. They got all broke up a bit. Of course, there's a lot of traffic in this area, so that's what happens. We're all meeting up here at the In and Out. It's near. It has a big parking lot. That's why they do it. In and Out Burger, Home Depot. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, so we're at the what they call the end of the line, I guess. Uh, but unfortunately, the park is closed. So it's one of those things that just it's either open or it's closed. But this is how many cars are left. And I mean, we dropped off a few, quite a few, over at the last place. Uh, some of the Bay Area people, Bay Area people stop at the uh, Ventura location and then turn around. So that's what ended up we got. There's I'm over there. Had to stop and use the restroom and uh, get some fuel, so we had good, lots of white knuckle fun catching up to the group at 75 to 80. 
being a Carmen Ghia, which is kind of like fast lane in it. We caught him. It took a while. We definitely caught him. So this is what we got left. How many is this? And we'll have a little, there's like a little after thing in Imperial Beach. So I'm just gonna do a group photo at the end there. Oh, okay, good idea. All right. That's Andre, he's the fearless leader. All right, man. We're uh, just filming along here. We got Border Patrol out. <laughs> That's where we're at, right near the Mexican border. <laughs> this is all the cars here. So. It's pretty fun. Large group of guys. Committed to having fun and driving Volkswagens. That's what it's all about. Drive them. Gotta have fun. Alright, so we're at the very end of the thing. What they have at the very end of this is uh, you can camp out here, but they don't do this every year. It might be different if you ever do this again. Um, but this year they have this property that's literally, there's a pier over there. And it's, let's look where we are. We are on the beach. Now, you, this property is probably worth hundreds, I don't know. It's worth more than tens of millions because those condos are a million dollars a piece. So that gives you an idea. We're right on the beach. Really cool. And uh, so I'll walk around this. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of music, so we'll I'll just walk around and kind of show you the event here and then uh, it will just fade out and catch you on the next one so anyway check it out I'll talk to you later
Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows Never be the same. I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I'm never fell this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away As you fade away Too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to 